Uh, my name is John Mulro. I'm the uh, Business and Industrial Sustainability Specialist at the Illinois Sustainable Technology Center. And one of the projects I work on is the Governor's Sustainability Award. So I'm going to define Governor's Sustainability Award and Sustainable for you. The Governor's Sustainability Award has been around since 1987, awarding every year or, uh, awarded every year to organizations in Illinois that, pro that show a commitment to our economy, society, and environment, and implement practices showing outstanding, uh, so, sorry, implement outstanding sustainability practices. Sustainable. I encountered the term sustainable last year at the Illinois Governor's Sustainability Awards ceremony when our keynote speaker used it to describe the expanding use of the word sustainability to characterize everything from products to policy initiatives. And he showed this graph, okay? This is the increasing use of sustain the word sustainability until in the year 2009, all sentences are just the word sustainable repeated over and over. <laughs> okay, so just to remind you, here's my business card, uh, Business and Industrial Sustainability Specialist, Illinois Sustainable Technology Center. So is this, so I'm at about the year 2061, right? I'm ahead of the curve. <laughs> so is this a curve we want to be ahead of? Only if we're making sure the word sustainability and the sustainability award maintain the rigorous definition of sustainability and awards material progress. So this kind of gives me a framework to talk about the history of the awards and some of the things we're doing with it. Um, the award was established in 1987 as the Governor's Pollution Prevention Award. We worked with the Governor's Office and over the years we've recognized a lot of manufacturing and industrial facilities implementing pollution prevention technologies and practices, but also you saw um, at elementary school there, so we're, we're expanding in the sectors that we're recognizing, and you'll see that later. Here's a quick timeline and a map. Um, we've awarded the Governor's Award to over 350 unique businesses throughout the years. Um, some are repeats, and that represents over 250 uh, cities and towns throughout Illinois. Uh, it started as a Pollution Prevention Award. We've had some technology-specific awards over the years, and now we're the Governor's uh, Sustainability Award. And we also have a continuous improvement category for repeat winners. Um, this is just a highlight of some of the 2013 winners we had. Jefferson Middle School is, is nearby here, you might know. They erected a, a small wind turbine and are doing renewable energy education at the middle school level. Clark has bike brigades doing small scale to keep mosquito control measures on bikes. They send out send employees out in neighborhoods on bikes, the Village of Bolingbroke's uh, Rain Garden Project, and then uh, J.L. Clark is characterizing their waste and having uh, employees do dumpster dives. So here you can see the increasing amount of sectors that are represented. Uh, this is 1999 to 2003 winners compared to 2009 to 2013. So we, we're dealing with, us at ISTC, our judging panel is dealing with this increasing amount of sectors. So we're really putting some effort into understanding what is sustainability beyond manufacturing and industry pollution prevention, which we're used to? Here's a breakdown of uh, 2013 reported projects, uh, the top three from different sectors from our applicants. You can see there's a lot of classic energy efficiency and waste reduction, but now we're getting companies that are working on employee engagement, employee commuter programs, and supply chain sustainability. So we started actually collecting metrics I should have put a picture of data for Star Trek in here. <laughs> um, but we're starting to collect metrics uh, in, in an organized way so that we can really look at the trends in business sustainability and make sure we're staying at the cutting edge and really requiring businesses to not just do business as, as usual. ISTC sent me to a training um, in the Global Reporting Initiative's reporting structures. This is a, a global movement to get corporate sustainability metrics standardized. I put GAP on here, not necessarily because they're awesome, but they were the first one to put out uh, the latest uh, a sustainability report that complies with their latest very rigorous measures for being very transparent with their sustainability reporting. Um, and that was important because of the Bangladesh uh, 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 textile factory fire in the past year. So um, real quick, we know that our users, we surveyed our users, we know that many of them are unsure about how to quantify their metrics and also unsure about how to talk about sustainability and what they do. So our job is to understand new sectors, improve our metrics and reporting, and do a better job of promoting real, true sustainability and coaching our applicants on how to do that. So shameless plug really quick for our award ceremony in the fall. It'll be held in downtown Chicago. If you know companies that should apply, please go to our URL and check out our case studies. Thank you.